riveting. No, no, it was good. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just never talk no, about gonna, it again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you on a journey. <laughs> Throw it back. I'm going to talk about Spa 2012. Here we go. All right. Give you a little bit of a lead up. Set the scene. Music, please. Dimming lights. <laughs> <laughs> so 2012 season. <clears throat> probably the one of the most exciting seasons in the history of the sport. We had Fernando Alonso, Mark Webber, Sebastian Vettel, Lewis Hamilton, Michael Schumacher, some stars started, a lot of world championships, champions on the grid. So first seven races of the season, seven different winners, including that famous win by Pastor Maldonado in Barcelona. Seven different winners in his first seven races. Yeah. Fuck, that must be unheard of. You couldn't imagine that now. No, no way. So going into Belgium round of the championship, Fernando Alonso leads the championship by 40 points. Okay. Decent lead. Decent lead over Mark Webber. And then Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton were seven points behind. Race. Grosjean made a good start. Moved up the inside of La Source. In doing so, squeezed Hamilton over. Famous crash, this is. Put them touch wheels, both lost control. Grosjean then spread, sped into the back of Perez. Perez came airborne, and that famous scene where Perez went over the top of... Think of Perez, it's a long time ago. I think he's still racing, yeah? Yeah, Because remember we talked true, about true, Perez true. the other week. Here it is here. Here it is here. So who's this on board with? So this is Alonso, Alonso. on board. Okay. How's that sound, huh? Yeah, cool. It's How's amazing, it? isn't it? Look how thin the cars are. Oh. oh! That's actually grows on that went over the top of him. My, my apologies. Shit. Pre-Halo era, obviously, as yeah. well. Yeah. And this is probably one of the biggest arguments for the Halo. Yeah, yeah. Um, this, who's, who's this is incident. This? this is Hamilton. So you'll see Grosjean so overly aggressive on his left coming through. Did he? Was there a jump start? Yeah. Or did he just... There was. There was a jump start. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So look how aggressive he was. Who's that? That's oh, Grosjean. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big crash. Massive crash. I'm going to say, personally, one of the craziest and scariest crashes that I've witnessed live. There's been a lot of probably worse crashes out there, but I just remember how, I don't know, how crazy it was. It sort of, it flipped the it flipped the championship on its head after that. Jensen, Jensen Button ended up winning the championship, but, oh, sorry, winning the race, but Vettel came second and obviously pulled that back a few points on him. Grosjean was fined 50,000 euro and given a one race ban, which was pretty unheard of back then. That's, That's yeah. massive. That's massive. Yeah. Having a race ban is very is very unusual. I don't remember the last time a driver or a rider has had a race ban, funny enough. Yeah. True. Yeah. Or Roman, R- R- Fanati. Did he get banned or did he just get fired from his team? He, he, he got, got banned, banned for the rest of the season. Yeah. But that's a whole other story. It but- was also... Michael Schumacher surrounded with Grand Prix as well. Just yeah, to add no. to it. Just to add to it. But yeah, that's my throwback for this week. Yeah. Uh, just one of those memories. I remember actually posting a photo of that crash on my Facebook. And um, How many likes do you reckon you got? Probably one. <laughs> From your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dad. But that, I just remember that 2012 season and just looking back at it. And that goes into my last throwback of Brazil 2012. when. Yep. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. It's great. Yeah. That's great. That's one to uh, all listeners to go back and rewatch. Well, if I know there's always things that happen w- in world championships, how it's a topsy turvy affair. But if that didn't happen, Alonso would have got points and would have won the championship in yeah. Brazil. So that's sort of a throwback yeah. from my throwback, yeah, to where it all started. So what when you definitely wanted Alonso to win that side? Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It's the beauty of motor racing, though. Sometimes it's not even your fault. You just get taken out. So it's up to the motor racing gods. That's it. Yeah. That happens in all of all the formats. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, the, it's um, it's why we love it, to be honest. So, the frustration, unpredictability. Yeah, you know, there's always wacky results. I'm still hung up about the seven different drivers winning in the first seven races. Yeah, that's nuts. Do you have a? Do you know who a list of who Ooh, that, okay. that was? Okay, so uh, it would have been without without looking at it, it would have been Vettel, Alonso, Weber, Maldonado, Hamilton. I think possibly maybe Rosberg on in the, on the with the Mercedes. Maybe Raikkonen on the Lotus Renault. Oh no shit. Yeah. So now I'll look so the first seven. Yep. Daniel's got it. Uh Australia, 
Yep. Do you want pole and winner or just winner? Just winner. Just winner. Uh, Jensen. Just a button. That's what I'm saying. Malaysia, Fernando. China, Nico Rosberg. Uh. Bahrain, Sebastian Vettel. Spanish Grand Prix, Pastor Maldonado. The Monaco Grand Prix, Mark Webber. And then the Canadian Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. There you go. That's amazing. That's actually incredible. That's nuts. Yeah, that is nuts. And Kimi didn't win to the Abu Dhabi Grand, Grand Prix. He did win, yeah. I mean, it was oh, it was 10 it. different winners or something for the year. It was just incredible. The half the field, I think, won at race. Which, <sighs> or nearly half the field. That is unheard actually, of. Actually, I think there was 24 cars back then. Which is going to be soon, I think, going to 2026. I think there's going to be two more, two new teams. 